Okay, so uh, after my E8500 top scores, I tried some E8600s as well as E2180 and uh, one E5200, but they weren't so good, like good enough to make any like competitive scores. So uh, I'm going to use the last bits of LM2 on the QX9750. So the uh, EO stepping your field. We don't have any like target speeds for this CPU as no one ever ran this CPU on LM2. So uh, the top scores are currently on water, made by me mostly, and David Miller on dry ice. So it uh, will be interesting to see. So uh, maybe, uh, well, the ultimate goal would be uh, ultimate goal would be like 6 GHz plus in W prime, but that's obviously a very hard target for this particular CPU, as this wasn't like uh, the utmost best even on water cooling. So let's do our best, see what it can do. I would be uh, I would personally be happy if I could beat the current like top scores with uh, QX9650 as this is an EO stepping CPU. This might scale better with temperature, so we'll see. So I'll uh, move on to capture card and let's go through the settings and uh, let's see how it performs in the operating system. Okay, so let's press F1 to end the setup. I'll load uh, the 8600, but actually uh, not sure what's the... Uh, so 10... 12.5 oh yeah we so we'll see actually so uh, maybe 500 ish 500 is this is 5 gigahertz this is um, this should be 6 gigahertz so let's see I'll check like uh, the speeds roughly what I was running with the QX 9650 I don't remember I think it was under 500 FSP anyways so let's see okay so 500 480, 1924, 65, 20, 60, maybe 1.85, 1.4, 1.4, 1.84. Yeah, roughly like something like this. So uh, if we reach 500, that will be 6 gigahertz. Currently at minus 93, something like this. PLL under 1.5. Okay, so I'll uh, get back to you in the OS if we manage to post and boot roughly these settings. Did boot on first attempt, all cores 5760. Six six four one. Might have to go to BIOS again. We'll see. Four nine. Yeah. Yeah, I need to check. This could be anything. Okay. 5940. Might crash go. Okay, so uh, we already beat the best score made with uh, any other York field. So the previous best was uh, six, I think it was six A or six three something with uh, QX 9650, some Israeli guy. So yeah, wanna see six gigahertz. Ah. Six 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 gigahertz.
Okay, almost, almost. Four calls. 6,004 uh, 6, megahertz. That's it, baby. <laughs> First ever 6 gigahertz multi core or 4 core performance on 775 platform Rambase Extreme Team Finland Edition 2067420. 60 common rate one timings on the memory. I want to see uh, below. Under six seconds. Oh, that was f slow. I'm going to try eight. Interesting because now it's performing a lot better than one second before. And we crashed. Oh well. Five for one. Six of forty seven. Okay, let's try to run 1024M. I dropped the vehicle a little bit to 1.94, so I'm not sure about stability. Uh -huh. Score was great. Thousand twenty four M. The heat is actually quite a bit. One point nine seven volts on the load. One ninety four, less than two hundred seconds. There's, there's a wall, like some kind of a wall, roughly at six gigahertz, and it wasn't there. Uh, an FSP limit because it happens at different combinations. Oh well, we got it. We hang now, but we got it. So uh, yeah, 194.9984 at 
Okay, so it went pretty much as I expected. So I really thought that this CPU isn't very golden based on the water results and that, that's exactly what it was. So uh, at least we managed to do over 6 GHz in W Prime 32. The fastest one was uh, between 6013 and 6030. The highest I saw in uh, CPU Z was 6040, but unfortunately it didn't pass W Prime 32. 1024 m we were able to do 5928 very easily, but then it hang after a few screenshots and I lost the screenshot files, but that's where the capture card comes in. So uh, I can just save the uh, screenshot from the capture card footage and that's like a constant screenshot device. So it's very handy for these old platforms. That's why I like to use it. Now, uh, yeah, top score in PyFast as well, uh, better than QX9650 and 1M I just did one run so I didn't really try it, so it's below the top scores with QX9650, but I didn't really try like disabling cores and so on. So obviously it could go even higher. Now uh, you can't really bin these CPUs in large quantities, so uh, I think a very golden one would do like at least W Prime 32, but maybe even 1024M at 6.1. But um, it was still very cool to try the CPU on LN2, so now I don't have to return to this anymore. But uh, yeah. So uh, it is definitely the best or the fastest daily 775 CPU that ever existed. But sadly, you can't just pin them uh, to really find a good CPU. So uh, if it's not very golden, it doesn't really give that much advantage over a very good like QX9650 or QX9770. But uh, it's still very cool if you ask me. All of the scores will be posted on hardwarebot.org, so check them out if you wish. And I really hope you will like this video and subscribe to my channel as it, will help, as it, as it really helps me a lot. And huge thanks to Alta University for sponsoring the LN2 for our tests last weekend and also for these results as well, as this was a spare amount of code that was left during, uh, I mean, from the session over at Espo. But yeah, so. Uh, Thanks for watching one of my videos once again and I will see you on the next one.